John Castlemitas from the Review Journal joins me right now for a look into what's happening around town. So proud of myself for getting your last you name right. It. All right. Uh, Paul Schaefer, right. staying a, a busy man. Yes, he is. He's uh -huh. going to be in Las Vegas in December, folks. This is a, we've talked about uh, Cleopatra's Barge on, on, right. on these segments quite a bit and what uh, Dave Perico has been doing there with Pop Strings. Well, Paul Schaefer in December and in the first week of January is bringing uh, his act uh, into that uh, venue. It's called Paul Schaefer and the Shapeshifters, okay. and David Perico is going to be his band leader. And this was just announced this week. And if you if you remember, Paul Schaefer is the band leader for mm -hmm. David Letterman for mm -hmm. a very long time. Before yeah. that, on Saturday Night Live, great band, great, great band, great yeah. he, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame band he leads. And he was in the original Blues Brothers music director too. Schaefer was. Oh, I didn't realize. And that. Yeah, so he's got an extensive background as a performer and music arranger. He's a great piano player, and he's going to bring a, a swinging funk rock uh, band into the uh, Cleopatra's Barge for some uh, eight. PM shows. He's very excited about it, and uh, it's in the column this week. All right, a great entertainer. Now the mm -hmm. Killers, uh, they're, they're not connected to Saturday's fight. What's going on there? They have recorded a video, <laughs> an alternative version of their uh, latest single, The Man, and there uh -huh. they are in a lake bed somewhere in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, yeah, the, the fight promoters and uh, Showtime, the, which is doing the paper, he reached out to the band yeah. and said, can you get involved somehow? So the, the, the band had, well, why don't you put the idea to put us in a boxing ring <laughs> somewhere near Makes Vegas. Makes sense, right? Right. right, and I'll tell you Boxing what. Boxing ring in the desert. Right, Got it. Check. Uh, and the Killers are really connected, obviously, to Las Vegas. This is yeah. their hometown, and if there's anything big going on in Las Vegas, you can count the Killers to, to hook into it somehow. So this is going to be played as a promotion to the the pay per view event. Okay, on so people can watch Saturday night who do have the fight. They can be able to yeah. catch that. Yeah, uh, that okay. clip's also on YouTube. Uh, Boy George is going to be uh, perhaps hanging around for a little bit here. Yeah, huh? you know, we've another one we've talked about. Boy George it comes up in conversation a lot, uh, primarily and well, in part because of Boy George. He's going to be mm. headlining an event, uh, a show, at, uh, an 80s show Friday at the Orleans Arena, and he loves Las Vegas. I talked to him this week, and he's talking about a residency, uh, generally speaking, and, I, and the places that have been in conversation, one conversation has been at the Hard Rock, at where the cafe is, as right. part of uh, what a project there. I don't think it's going to be that. I think it's okay. going to be at the Flamingo, Ooh. and he's going to do a thing uh, uh, next year where he's going to invite some different performers and perform a, an extended residency there, I think. It hasn't been confirmed. He goes, I can't confirm nor uh -huh. deny, but he he wants to do something here, and he's very close to signing. I, now, I has he done a residency before? Not in a Vegas? residency no. in Las Vegas. Okay. He's performed here with uh, Cindy Lauper. He's been on tour before with with her and with Culture Club fairly recently, but not uh, not one of those uh, you know twelve shows and two month residencies, nothing like that. But he he, uh, I think there's a lot of appeal for him. He's a party artist, and he's got a lot of hits, and he's got a great stage show. Yeah, you want to talk about one of the sort of the, the, the defining sounds of the '80s? Exactly. Boy George was it. I he's mean, big on the Voice in Australia, and he was mm -hmm. also also on um, uh, uh, reality TV in, in, uh, in the States where he got into a dispute with uh, uh, Vince uh, Neal on The Apprentice, okay. if you remember that. Oh, yes. He's also right, feuded right. with yes. Seal uh -huh. on The Voice, so he can he can uh, shake it up a little bit. But yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. He's great to talk to, yeah. and he's very excited about Las Vegas. All right, cool. Great, great news for the city. All right, as always, uh, you can catch John's column in the Review Journal titled Cats. Uh, we'll be right back, everyone.